The question, also known as Big Sage, is one of those fascinating, underappreciated DC characters that deserves more love. Originally created by Steve Ditko back in 1967, Big is an investigative journalist by day and a faceless vigilante by night, working out of Hub City, probably the most corrupt place in the DC universe. What sets the question apart from your usual superhero is that it's not about flashy powers or massive battles. It's all about detective work, digging into conspiracy theories and tackling moral gray areas. He's got this iconic paceless mess made from pseudoderm, designed by his ally, Dr. Todd Rodor, giving him a mysterious vibe that makes his stories super intriguing. The 1980s run by Dennis O'Neill and Dennis Cowan really set the tone for the character, diving deep into themes like philosophy, identity, and Eastern mysticism. Big isn't some flawless hero. He's got his fair share of struggles, self-doubt, and complex morals which makes him a lot more relatable than your typical superhero. If you're into street-level detective stories filled with grit, moral challenges, and a bit of philosophy, the question is a character you should definitely check out. Plus, his influence on other DC heroes like Green Arrow, Batman, and even mentoring Rene Montoya, who later took on his mantle adds even more depth to his legacy. The fedora, the trench coat, and that relentless pursuit of truth, it all adds up to make the question a cult favorite that deserves way more spotlight. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into McFarlane's take on one of DC's most underrated hero, the question. So, did McFarlane do justice to this mysterious character in action figure form? Is it a hit or a miss? Well, that's literally the question we're going to answer today. Now, I gotta say, this is one of those figures I was really excited to get my hands on. I've been a fan of The Question ever since his awesome appearance in Justice League Unlimited. At first, I assumed this figure would be a straightforward reuse of the page puncher Constantine body mold. After all, it's just a guy in a suit with a cool paceless mask, right? But after a closer look, it seems like they actually reused the Joker body mold from the Dark Knight Rises wave. Honestly, that makes sense since in most of his depictions, the question's necktie is stuck into his suit, unlike Constantine's which usually hangs loose. Since this is just a reuse of the Joker mold, the real key here is whether they nailed that iconic paceless mask. And I think they absolutely did. I love how they added some dark shading around the eye area, almost like a cell shading effect that makes it look like the hat is casting a shadow over his face. Plus, even though the head scalp is paceless, it's got surprisingly good articulation, making for some great expressive poses, which is a huge plus. As for the rest of the articulation, it's pretty much what you'd expect if you've seen this mold before. What I really appreciate is the lighter shade of blue they use for his trench coat and hat. It adds a nice bit of color separation and keeps the figure from feeling too monotone. Overall, this is a straightforward repaint of one of McFarlane's older molds and honestly, it works. The figure looks fantastic. 
and I think they've really captured the question's mysterious vibe perfectly. This is definitely a cool addition for anyone looking to expand their collection of DC's lesser-known heroes. If you've made it to this point in the video, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And drop a comment to let me know what you think about this figure or my reviews. I always appreciate hearing from you all.